are back for the second part of our banking videos. In this uh, video, which is the second part, we are going to be covering Reconcile. What we did a little bit different though is we logged into a sample uh, QuickBooks login uh, because it has so much more data and we need a lot of data to look at reconciliation. So I'm going to click on Reconcile and the screen will pop up over here. So the first thing you will see over here is to check which account you want to reconcile. We're going to do the checking. We're going to say the ending balance is 69054 15 cents. Then the next thing over here is a service charge. Usually checking accounts uh, may or may not. So if it does, you know, you can put the service charge of let's say $2. Interest earned is usually in savings account, so it would not most likely apply in over here. You would hit continue, and you're going to have the screen pop up. Make this a little bit bigger. And the idea is to basically look at your bank statements and match every transaction on your bank statement that's over here. So if you see this on your bank statement, you would just put a little check mark here. Right away, you'll notice that over here says deposits is 41.350 cents so far. So if you know on the deposit side that there's a total deposit of whatever, whatever, this is where you look against the statement and have another way to verify that the amounts that you're checking add up to what the statement says for deposits. Uh, because at the end of the day, the difference over here needs to show zero. So over here, as I start, start checking on this side, you'll see this chart this number starts going down. Another thing I can do is I can mark it all. I can mark everything or I can unmark everything. Obviously if the easy way to mark everything and that's going to make it zero, obviously it doesn't so I'm going to unmark. And we're back to our process once again where we're trying to reconcile stuff and we're trying to make the number get down to zero and if it does not match down to zero this is where you reference these two right away and you could tell okay the deposits seem to be fine but the checks and payments is off so now you know that the error lies on this side not on this side if you want to look at a specific transaction you can double click on it it's going to open up and over here if you notice that the amount was wrong this is where you can come in and change the amount to 41.27.50 Hit save and close. Hit OK. Well, I guess I got to change it over here to 41.2750. Save and close. And this is how you can change a transaction on the fly as well. And the idea is to get this down to zero. So if I really, really want to get down to zero right now to show you an example, I can either start adding more stuff up over here and start bringing that number down. Let's go for a big ticket item number. See how, how that number is getting down. And once again, this is just showing you of what the goal is over here. Now you see that I went over that number, so I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna take this down. I'm gonna take this down. And now there's a difference of negative 1172.93. What I could do is I can come over here I'll make this just to show you 1172.93. I guess we cannot modify this one. So I'm going to go to a different one that I can modify. Or what I could do is go to write checks. I'm going to write another check for. 1172.93. It really doesn't matter. Hit save and close. I'm going to go all the way down here. Here's that transaction 1172.93. Difference is now zero. And now I know that I can hit reconcile. By the way, over here, you could sort things out by the date, you could by the check number. So if it's easier for you to look by check number at a certain point or by amounts. So definitely use this as well. I use this feature all the time. But for right now, we were able to reconcile and I'm gonna hit reconcile. It's gonna ask me over here if I would like to see my reports, 
we're going to hit both for now we're going to display them and this first report is a summary and let's see kind of know and you could obviously either take it to an excel or save it or print it uh, this is something that you want to keep records of in case something goes wrong you have something to reference and what's even more important is also the detail because the detail will tell you what was included the detail is going to tell you what was included in this reconciliation which is also very important that way you can backtrack so we are back home we're going to go to reconcile and let's pretend that it's been a month and we want to reconcile the same account however you notice that this time your beginning balance does not match what's on your statement it basically usually means one of two things it means within those 30 days you must have done something with a transaction that's previously been reconciled you either changed the amount or you deleted it the first thing you want to do is go to locate discrepancies then you're going to do discrepancy report right now we don't have anything in there because we don't have any problems but usually you will see an uh, an entry over here it, it kind of gives you the amount and what you have to do based on what the information gives you you'll know how to fix it it's a case-by-case -case basis I can probably show you a few different examples we'll get into more of that later on obviously if you have a specific scenario you can't figure it out uh, go to our Excel help section uh, put in a lot put in a question and we will try to help you out but the whole point is this report is going to show you where the discrepancy lies and most likely whatever that numbers off if you're off by a thousand and you see a thousand dollars over here then you know that was the problem okay and you can either try to fix that uh, which is usually the best way to go about it if you feel like you can't fix that for some reason uh, and something is wrong and then the last thing you could probably do is go to undo last reconciliation so you would go over here and that way you could redo your reconciliation and figure out where that problem lies uh, but once again the discrepancy report normally will kind of give you that idea and you can fix it without having to undo it because if you undo the reconciliation you have to redo it all over again it's a lot of work again so you really don't want to have to do that if you don't have to okay try to use a discrepancy report and simply just make the adjustment on the new month even if you did something wrong you can always redo the adjustment okay and that takes care of the discrepancies and undoing the last reconciliations I'm gonna hit cancel back to reconcile and the last thing I want to let you know you could do the same thing for your credit cards and for a lot of things like PayPal um, so you could reconcile your savings account your credit card account it's all the same philosophy it all works the same over here and you simply just have to match one transaction to another reconcile it and that way you know your numbers are not 99.9 .9, but they're 100 percent accurate if you ever get audited it all comes down to reconciliations and how accurate you keep your books